Once a BBC journalist has found a new story, they'll check it out carefully and gather together all the elements to make a report. And we call that news gathering, OK? And you can start by gathering the facts. But an easy way to do this is to remember the five W's. There are five W's for you to bear in mind. What happened? Who was involved? Where did it take place? When did it happen? And, crucially, why did it happen? And there is something that doesn't start with a W, but it is vital too. Don't forget to ask how. That's also a very useful thing for you to ask. Facts are the building blocks of news, so you need to gather your own facts and figures and statistics, and then you need to check them very carefully. That way you won't go far wrong. You'll be able to gather some more possibly exclusive facts by interviewing people who've been affected or who have a particular knowledge of the subject. A BBC journalist will make sure that they have as much background information as possible before they set out to interview anyone, and you should do that too. You need to be well informed, you need to do your homework so that you can ask the right questions and challenge your interviewee if they try to avoid answering the question, which some people do. And good interviews need good planning. So remember the five W's and the how. And uh, when you prepare your questions, those are good things to bear in mind. Interviews are also a good chance to gather opinions. But make sure that you know the difference between a fact and an opinion. A fact is something that is beyond dispute. It's something that is established and uh, really something that you can hold on to. An opinion is someone's view. We all have opinions, um, but it isn't guaranteed to be true. An opinion isn't fact. So when you include an opinion in your report, you must try to balance it up with an argument against or an alternative view. Now, once a journalist has gathered all the ingredients they need to produce their report, um, it's time to start writing. And this is where the fun starts. If you're writing for television or radio, your words are going to be read out loud. So you'll need to write a script which might include clips of audio or video and make it pretty conversational. But before you start writing anything, ask yourself the most important question of all. What is the main point of the story? If you're not sure about that, tell the story to a friend. Uh, what's the first thing you're going to say to them about the story? Because that will give you a hint as to what the beginning of the report should be. The middle of the report contains the best of your interviews. So review all of your material, think about the best answers, which is the most interesting opinion, which quotation would balance it maybe. Uh, and you'll also need to plan an ending to the report. How's it going to end? Think about the final thought you want to leave your audience with. So you already know about the five W's of news gathering. I now want you to think about the three C's of news writing. And the C's are as follows. To be clear, to be concise, and to be correct. Let's go over those. To be clear, well to write it as if you were telling the story to one person. Use simple language that everyone will understand. And try not to use a long word if there's a perfectly good short word that does the same job. That's a good guide. Concise. Keep it as brief as possible. If you make your report too long, the audience might lose interest and switch off. So stick to the key facts rather than overloading the story with information. And lastly, correct. That's the third C. Be sure to get your facts right, and not just the facts. Get your grammar right. Get your punctuation right. It's also about being correct in every way, factually and in your use of language. Don't forget that. You can't just copy things word for word from somewhere else. You can't copy other people's work. You have to be honest, and you have to spell out where the information came from. Here we are in one of our television studios in New Broadcasting House in London. This is where the final stage of newsmaking happens. I'm talking, of course, about broadcasting. And now that you've compiled your reports, it's time for you to share them with everyone else. And here at the BBC, we arrange our television and radio reports into programmes, or bulletins as we call them. And you can do the same. And to do this, uh, you must put your news stories in an order, in a list, if you like, one that will appeal to your audience. The reports are listed in what we call 
a running order, your top story, your main story at the start, the top of the order, and maybe towards the end a lighter or even a funny story um, for the end of the programme or bulletin. Once you've made those big decisions, it's then time to share or to broadcast your news. Have a final check. Make sure all the scripts are in order with correct spellings and correct punctuation. Remember, good grammar isn't a luxury, it's essential. And when you've done all this, you can write the headlines. Now, that's my favourite job because good headlines will really hold the audience. Keep them short and snappy. They should be a mix of direct, serious stories and, yes, headlines that maybe tease people to make them stay and watch the programme. Get the mix right, get the language right.